Let's go to Nigeria, where the United Nations has accused Boko Haram of unimaginable violence and brutality. UN Humanitarian Co Coordinator Stephen O'Brien says the militant group's actions are directly responsible for thousands of Nigerians fleeing their homes. The world body estimates that more than 9 million people in the region are in desperate need of humanitarian assistance. Boko Haram has also carried out suicide bombings in neighboring countries. Despite a military intervention in the region, the militant group remains a major threat. The UN says the fight against Boko Haram needs further funding and support if it hopes to succeed. Well, Lorna Hinius and Barbaric, strong words there from the United Nations. What more can you tell us about that? That's right. Well, those words from uh, Stephen O'Brien came in the context of a debate uh, organised by the United Kingdom uh, on the situation, in particular in the Lake Chad Basin, uh, where Boko Haram uh, has been active. Uh, and, and they wanted a briefing from the UN uh, humanitarian coordinator on, on the latest on the situation there, uh, which Stephen O'Brien said is deeply alarming. Uh, as you uh, mentioned, he, he estimates that nine million people there are now in need of humanitarian assistance and uh, many of Boko Haram's activities have led to serious human rights abuses. Uh, he gave some quite uh, horrific examples, uh, saying that between January and June this year, uh, the UN estimates over 50 children uh, have been coerced into carrying out suicide bombings uh, in the Lake Chad area. Uh, so some pretty shocking statistics. He also said that of those 9 million people needing help, 7 million of them are Nigerians themselves. And Nigeria, he said, is bearing the real brunt of this crisis, despite the best efforts uh, of the Nigerian government. Uh, and then the UN political chief, uh, Jeffrey Feldman, also briefed the Security Council uh, in the same session. Uh, and he said that although Boko Haram is being pushed back, uh, in a lot of areas, nonetheless, it is still a big threat to the whole stability of the region and the four countries uh, that are covered by the Lake Chad Basin. So both of these men really warning uh, that more attention is needed by the world on this issue and crucially as well, more funding. Right, Elona Shadik for us in New York.